For the first time today, we can take you inside what was Brindley Mountain Primary School. This is what's left after an EF2 tornado ripped that building apart. You can see insulation on the ground, shattered windows, beams hanging from the ceiling. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Naja Sherman. Right now, teachers and staff are working to clean everything up. Way 3 and Sierra Phillips joins us live. She took a tour of what is left of the school. Sierra. Guys, this is one of the many bricks scattered across the property. But the damage inside is even more shocking. Today was the first time we've been able to take a camera inside the building. Take a look at what's left of the primary school. When you first walk in, the view is shocking. The ceiling is gone. Insulation is scattered across the ground. Taking the walk towards the cafeteria, the damage is even worse. The superintendent told me when they first arrived, there was three feet of water filling the hallway. Now, insulation and broken concrete are everywhere, and beams are poking down from the ceiling. If you look up, you can see right through the roof to the sky. Walking back further into the school, classroom windows are broken and the ceiling is caving in. Teachers and staff are working against the clock as more rain is damaging whatever's left inside. We're loading trucks and doing the best we can um, and managing our plans around the weather. So um, as the weather changes for us, we are adjusting our plans and, and, and moving best we can. Those trucks are headed to Storage or Brindley Mountain High School. Reporting live in Marshall County, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News. All right, thanks, Sierra. We learned there's a deputy on campus 24 7 now since that tornado touched down. And they're stationed there to make sure that nothing is stolen while crews sort through debris and move items to other schools. Churches and other school districts across North Alabama are lending a helping hand. There were more than 150 volunteers at the school yesterday. The Marshall County Schools Superintendent also says you can help them financially. You can donate to a disaster recovery account for the school. If you want to donate, you can do so at any Citizens Bank and Trust location in North Alabama. School officials say a GoFundMe page is not an authorized account.